Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well today. Um, today I have the honour of bringing you some more Enduro uh, gameplay on MX Bikes. Uh, a couple of people have asked me for some more Enduro videos and I'm happy to oblige. I do uh, I do love Enduro on this game. It's probably the or my most fun thing to do um, in my free time. Um, I've been playing a lot of the, uh, the massive Krakenberg track recently. Um, and you can see I'm on the KTM 500 today, uh, which is probably the best bike for Enduro. It's got so much bottom end. Um, it can just pull you up any hill that you want, uh, running the hydration pack stuff. I, I'm not going to be running, playing in third person today because um, it will just make my life a lot harder. Um, but this track is, is course number three in the Resolute Enduro Super Series. Um, essentially, I think there's there's six courses overall, and they are essentially mini versions of the uh, the overall Rackenberg uh, track. And I've done a lap already of this loop. It's about ten minutes long. Um, the reason I've done a lap ahead of time is just so I know where I'm going. Uh, I, I find myself when I play these enduro tracks for the first time kind of uh, getting a bit lost or going the wrong way sometimes because there's a lot of uh, hidden switchbacks that come out of nowhere. And I can imagine that'll be a little bit frustrating seeing me slamming on the brakes and doing 180s every uh, every couple of seconds. Oh god, as I look over at my recorded. Oh god, thank god I'm not stuck in the tyres. Um, but I probably have to say this is probably my favourite one so far. Um, just from the one lap I've done. Uh, from my inner competitive side, it seems like a good track that you'd be able to uh, well, kind of spend a lot of time on and really get the lines down and try and work on your overall time. Um, it's more of a how do I put it? So it's not the most technically difficult track. It is, does seem to be, be a bit more um, like scrambly, like switchbacks and uh, and fast straights, and then there's a little bit of a wooded section. Um, so. If anything, it just reminds me of the, the uh, scrambles that I do in real life. Um, I, I'm not like a good enduro rider in real life at all, um, but maybe once or twice a year, um, my local track, which is Canada Heights, which the racetrack for that is actually in game uh, as well, um, they do a uh, quote unquote enduro, which is uh, it's more of a scramble, but it's essentially it's three hours. Um, they use part of the motocross track. Uh, there's a massive field that they, they tape out a track on and then we go all through the kind of woods surrounding the track as well. And it is just three hours. Whoever does the most laps or comes in the uh, in the lead at the end of those three hours wins. Um, and to be honest, I actually enjoy doing that more than I do uh, just normal racing itself. Nowadays, I just like spending time on my bike and having a bit of fun. I did not know that tree had collisions. Let me try and uh, avoid those bigger ones moving forwards. Uh, so... One cool thing that Resolute's done uh, for these mini courses is he hasn't just kind of taken the big track and that's it and kind of made a smaller version. He's actually used parts of the track that don't get used in the big track. Um, so like these hills, usually you'll, you'll ride around these, not actually ride on them. Um, so I find that really cool as well. And I think I'm kind of discovering all this for the first time with you guys because a lot of the Enduro uh, super fans out there on bikes would have already, uh, already completed everything. But me, myself, I'm, uh, I'm a fairly new new to the enduro scene on bikes but I love it nonetheless and I, oh god there's one of them switchbacks that I missed oh I need to get inside that timing gate otherwise it won't uh, won't count my laps try and uh, let's try and get down here oh that was pretty clutch managed to slide the back end round there and miss that tree and then completely hit this one <laughs> hit this one rip let's turn around again I don't want to be holding uh, forwards too much and doing the little cheaty rolling forwards glitch I want to do as much of it under my own power as possible uh, and I feel like I've got a little bit of uh, better enduro since the last proper enduro video that I'd done. Over this log, there we go. Usually nine times out of ten I'd go straight over the handlebars on those, so that's already a good sign of improving slightly. Um, <laughs> one thing I haven't really improved at though is uh, lifting my bars on these bloody trees every time I go through them. Not very good at that. Um, but another thing that I've got a bit better at is uh, kind of weaving down some of these hills, whereas uh, last time when I'd done the full Krakenberg I was having to just push my bike down rather than letting the bike go down under its own power. Um, and try and kind of get the bike spun around in these 180s is uh, it's a lot easier for me now as well. Um, one thing that is happening kind of now actually, which I missed the first round of, which I'm a bit guided about, um, is SD, who is one of the MX Bikes main Discord's uh, moderators, has uh, on the My MXB website, which is where majority of the, the main races for the game go through, started an Enduro series. Um, I'm f I think it's once a week. Um, if you kind of want to get involved in Enduro, um, then definitely check it out. If you go onto the MX Bikes Mods website and filter by Enduro, you can get all of the uh, the Enduro tracks. I think that I say there's about six in this, uh, this section in total, which will be used, I believe. Um, just go have a bit of fun. 
I mean, uh, to me as well, Enduro is probably one of, if not the best way to improve at the game as well. Especially when it comes to low speed physics in MS Bike. Everyone knows that it's, uh, it can be a little bit uh, finicky at times and this really helps you learn to control the bike at low speeds. And I definitely notice it translate over into other other things that I do. Uh, especially when it comes to like races as well. When let's say you crash for example and you want to quickly get spun round to get going again. You, f you find that your, your muscle memory from Enduro kind of takes over from these switchbacks. Um, and, and all around it's just, it, it's my favourite thing to do as I've said already. Um, where we got coming up next, uh, and I, I find myself quite a lot uh, glancing over at this map I've got on the left. Very, very handy to have the map, uh, <laughs> the map up if you don't use it all the time, especially for when you get these kind of hidden, hidden 180s. It, it just allows you to kind of go faster through sections. You could know what to sort of expect coming up. Oh, break, break, break! Oh, oh I thought I was going over the bars there. There's a tiny little hole before the takeoff lap. I didn't think would let me get my front wheel up in time, but that was. Uh, was fairly good. Let's go right. So we've got down here. There's another switchback 180 coming up. Yep, there it is. Let's spin her around. Oh, I think this is like a, a bigger corner down here. Actually, I can carry a bit more speed. Yep, that's fine. Okay, we're going straight. Don't go off the side of the cliff, please. Fall down there. It's just game over. That's, that's a hard reset instantly. You're not getting back here uh, by yourself. Um, I'm hoping this lap time counts, because last lap time I did fall down like one layer of these switchbacks um, and I had a hard reset, and because I'd crossed a part, another part of the track for a second, it spawned me further down, so it, uh, it essentially counted as like cuts, so my lap time didn't count, so I'm hoping this one does. Um, so it was around the, the 10 minute mark this time, although I feel like I'm, even after a couple of mistakes, I feel like I'm making a bit uh, better progress this time around. Um, so maybe it'll be like, not eight and a half, nine minutes maybe. And that for me works perfectly for a video, and uh, you guys get to see see something new on the channel. Right, so this is the weird bit. So there's like this massive wide hill here, which the checkpoints cover the entire area of. So I don't know if you can just go up at any point. You see that there's the, the checkpoint there, and then one all the way back there. So I'm guessing it's free range of where you want to hit that hill. Um, so I suppose if I was grinding to try and get uh, the best lap time possible, I'd uh, go as far to the left as I can, you know, make the track smaller. One thing, Resolute's actually been nice for us to change. This hill, usually on the massive version, on the full Krakenberg, has uh, logs just at the start of the hill, which completely rubble your speed and make you get a bit squirrely. So, thank you very much, Resolute, for uh, <laughs> for being nice to us for a change and making things easier. Uh, let's hop over this. There we go. And I think there's a couple of logs on this straight, if I remember from the full, uh, full track, which there is. Go over that one. And then this should be the last one on this straight as well. Oh, this is a big one. It's fine, it's good, I'm alive. Right, I'm just going to quick glance up at the map, looks like we've got a little bit of straight before we have to do anything. Whoa. This is where this 500 really shines, is these uh, these uh, sharper hills coming straight out of a turn where you, you don't have any momentum at all. You just put it in first gear and be really gentle and feather the throttle. Um, it'll, it's just like a tractor, it'll just pull you up the hill no problem. Which on uh, some of the other bikes, you'll just find yourself, you start spinning. Um, which in turn or will lead to uh, oh, Discord's popping off in the background, and um, which in turn will lead to you falling off the side of one of these uh, these lovely mountains and losing lots of time. I'm pushing it up the rest of this hill because I just tried it to the right, and then it weren't moving anywhere. So <laughs> let's try. Uh, let's go. Got one corner there. There's another switch back here. Let's get us spun around. Oh, I need to try and stay away from that uh, like cambered bit on the left because that's what's uh, making me a little bit squirrely. Just keep her nice and true, just keep the handlebars away from the trees because that will send me veering off the side as well. There we go. Nice. I'm oh, tree, tree, tree. Oh god. Stay alive. Oh. We've got a tiny little bit of what is on the main track, a massive rock garden. Um, again, Resolute's been a little bit nicer to us here and he's taken majority of the rocks out, so you just have to deal with the, uh, the rough terrain instead. And dash across from checkpoint to checkpoint. Oh, get over that rock. Oh my lord. It just makes it even harder as well. This is all um, all on a slope whilst being super rough. Let's go back down here. I don't, I don't want to go around that. Right, let's go through here. I think as long as you go within all of these checkpoints, you should be fine for lap time. I'm pretty sure um, the first lap I've done round where I fell down the hill, I missed one of them, which is why it didn't count. So, fingers crossed this one does count. It would be nice to have like a like a banker time for you guys to compete against if you do go and download this track. I think that'll be a pretty cool concept. You can let me know what uh, what lap times you get as well. 
uh, down in the comments. And I'm pretty sure we're close. I heard the faintest um, like bit of music in the background there because uh, it was pretty cool. Is that the actual Marshall checkpoints are dotted around the full track? He's got like uh, he's got radios uh, set up playing music. <laughs> There's got a bit of Lady Gaga in there at some point as well playing Poker Face, and it's just he's done a very good job as far as the ambience goes. There you go. I'm not sure if you can hear that. It might be overpowered by my voice. Oh, there we go. There's a lap. So it's at 9:30, oh, and it did count. Sick. Cool. So there you go, there's a little banker time of uh, a 9.33 if you do want to give this go yourself. As I say, that's the, the second uh, the second lap I've done on this track. Um, and it's probably my favourite of the three that I've done so far. Um, I still need to do number four, five and six, so those will probably come in the uh, well, in the, in the coming weeks. And I can hop on some more of the enduro bikes. I'll link the enduro bikes pack uh, in the description, along with this track if you want to download it as well. Uh, you can see, I think it looks pretty sweet with the, uh, the six days uh, enduro. Uh, skin on it as well, and I've got the old camel back on as well, which I'll, uh, I'll link that as well in the description so you've got everything that you need to uh, to kind of replicate what I've done today. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, it helps the channel grow. Um, it's literally just one click of a button, and it means the world to me. Uh, same as subscribing, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Uh, the channel is growing really, really well. You know, we're getting at least 50 new subs a day, which is just awesome to see. I'm glad you guys are all enjoying the content. Um, and that, that'll do it for me today. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you're up to. And until I catch you guys in the next video, peace.